Hello all. Today we're going to learn about an Indian multinational company that manufactures and markets a wide range of pharmaceuticals in India and overseas, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories. Let us know this company in a much better way. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Limited is a pharmaceutical company based in Hyderabad, Telangana, India. The company was founded by Anjee Reddy, who had previously worked in the Mentor Institute, Indian Drugs and Pharmaceuticals Limited of Hyderabad, India. Dr. Reddy's manufactures and markets a wide range of pharmaceuticals in India and overseas. The company has over 190 medications, 60 active pharmaceutical ingredients, APIs, for drug manufacture, diagnostic kits, critical care and biotechnology products. Dr. Reddy's began as a supplier to Indian drug manufacturers, but it soon started exporting to other rest regulated markets that had the advantage of not having to spend time and money on a manufacturing plant that would gain approval from a drug licensing body as the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. By the early 1990s, the expanded scale and profitability from these unregulated markets enabled the company to begin focusing on getting approval from drug regulators for their formulations and bulk drug manufacturing plants in more developed economies. Dr. Reddy's originally launched in 1984 producing active pharmaceutical ingredients. In 1986, Reddy's started operations on branded formulations. Within a year, Reddy's had launched Norilet, the company's first recognized brand in India. Soon, Dr. Reddy's obtained another success with Omez, its branded Omeprazole, ulcer and reflux esophagitis medication, launched at half the price of other brands on the Indian market at that time. The company's first international move took it to Russia in 1992. There, Dr. Reddy's formed a joint venture with the country's biggest pharmaceuticals producer, Biomed. They pulled out in 1995 amid accusations of scandal involving a significant material loss due to the activities of Moscow's branch of Reddy's labs with the help of Biomed's chief executive. In 2001, Reddy's completed its U.S. initial public offering of $132.8 million secured by American depository receipts. At that time, the company also became listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Funds raised from the initial public offering helped Reddy's move into international production and take over technology-based companies. By 2007, Dr. Reddy's had six FDA plants producing active pharmaceutical ingredients in India and seven FDA-inspected and ISO 9001 quality and ISO 14001 environmental management certified plants making patient ready medications, five of them in India and two in the UK. In 2010, the family control Dr. Reddy's denied that it was in talks to sell its generics business in India to U.S. pharmaceutical giant P. Pfizer, which had been suing the company for alleged patent infringement after Dr. Reddy's announced that it intended to produce a generic version of atorvastatin marketed by P. Pfizer as Lipitor, an anti-cholesterol med medication. Reddy's was already linked to UK pharmaceuticals multinational GlaxoSmithKline. In 2014, Dr. Reddy Laboratories was listed among 1,200 of India's most trusted brands according to Brand Trust Report 2014, a study conducted by Trust Research Adversary, a brand analytics company. Generic Formulations is company's biggest business which brings good health to many by offering over 200 plus high quality generic versions of expensive innovative medicines. This offers medicines at an affordable cost as quickly as possible to patients around the world. Dr. Reddy Laboratories make products across major therapeutic areas of gastrointestinal ailments, cardiovascular disease, pain management, oncology, anti ineffective pediatrics and dermatology. The company has emerged as one of the top producers of active pharmaceutical ingredients in the world. The company caters to innovator and other generic pharmaceutical companies from USA, Europe, Latin America and Asia, helping them to take their products first to the market. Drawing on their expertise and capabilities in product development and manufacturing, the company provides customized services and solutions for starting materials, intermediates, active ingredients and finished dosage forms. The company has a track record of bringing innovations to the market quickly efficiently and economically helping address patients' needs better and faster. From developing methyl dopa API active pharmaceutical ingredient in 1984, which helped make the only blood pressure reducing medicine available to patients in India to developing Redutex TM, a biosimilar of Redu Sibab used to treat a specific type of blood cancer, the company has solved many complex challenges. 
In Dr. Reddy's laboratories, the scientists work relentlessly to solve tough challenges and innovate meaningfully to create solutions for patients around the globe. With more than 2,000 scientists based out of companies' development centers in India, UK and the Netherlands, company leveraged the best of global scientific talent. In March 2002, Dr. Reddy's acquired BMS Laboratories, Beverly and its wholly owned subsidiary Meridian Healthcare for 14.81 million euros. Recently, Dr. Reddy's entered into an R&D and commercialization agreement with Urgenta Discovery Limited, a private drug development company based in the UK for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. In 2004, Reddy's acquired Trigenesis Therapeutics Incorporation, a US-based private dermatology company. This acquisition gave Reddy's access to propriety products and technologies in the dermatology sector. In March 2006, Dr. Reddy's acquired Beta Farm, Arzent Mittel GmbH from 3i for 480 million euros. This is one of the largest ever foreign acquisitions by an Indian pharmaceutical company. Betaform is Germany's fourth largest generics pharmaceutical company with a 3.5% market shares including 150 active pharmaceutical ingredients. In September 2005, Dr. Reddy's spun off its drug discovery and research wing into a separate company called Perlikin Pharma Private Limited. At the time, this was hailed as an innovative move, but in 2008, the company it had to be wound down due to funding constraints. Dr. Reddy's was the first Indian pharma company to attempt such an effort to decouple risk of drug discovery from the parent company by creating a separate company with external source of funding. Perlican Pharma was partially funded by ICICI Venture Capital and Citigroup Venture International, both of which held a 43% stake in Perlican for an estimated $22.5 million. In June 2011, certain lots of Dr. Reddy's generic Simvastatin tablets were recalled due to tablets having a musty or a moldy smell. On June 24, 2014, the New York Times published an article warning unheeded hard drugs are recalled in which it said another large Indian manufacturer, Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, have announced recalls over the past two months, totaling more than 100,000 bottles of a widely used hard drug, Toprol XL, because the products were not dissolving properly. So we got to know about the various aspects of Dr. Reddy's Laboratories Limited. We went through the company's history to its global expansion, research and innovation. Hope the information was useful and have a good day.